Okay, I need to get this thought out. Um, talking about Job thirty-eight fourteen, the concept of the the wax is in the changing over. I think so. We're just told that the dawn takes hold of the skirts of the land and shakes out the wicked. Okay. So the dawn takes hold of the land and shakes out the wicked, right? That doesn't literally happen. So what is the dawn? What is the land? Who are the wicked, right? Okay, so it says the dawn takes hold of the skirts of, and it's not even skirts, but it's like the outskirts, right? So it is skirting. It's the out, the perimeter. <coughs> um, Um, okay, the dawn takes hold of the skirts of the land and shakes out the wicked. And then the very next verse says, it is changed like clay under the seal or whatever that is, whatever that thing is, right? So that, that comment about the seal is following the context of the wicked being shaken out. Okay. And then it's uh, uh, book ended on the other side by another comment about being changed out and shaken over or shaken out, changed over. Right? So the idea of you can reseal something if you make the wax hot again and then press it. That's being changed over. That's the idea. The land is going to be changed. How is it going to be changed? God tells them all the time. Look up Psalm 102 and read the Gospels when Jesus talks about changing the garments and shaking out the garments. This is, this is a, a passage on the judgment that's coming to Israel, to the tribes, not to the whole world. God's not mad at you wherever you are. God doesn't even know who you are. This God in the Bible has no clue who you are. He could give a flying fig about, you know. But, but my point is, is that's the context of these four verses, is judgment, okay? This, you can't press the analogy too far. Just let it be what it is, right? Just let it be what it is. So let me go to the, uh, let me go to the passage real quick, okay? Have you commanded the morning since the day, since your days began and caused the dawn to know its place that it might take hold of the skirts of the land and the wicked be shaken out of it? Right, so we're, I mean, just think about this. We're, we're having like this conversation. Uh, have you commanded the morning since your days began causing the dawn to, ha to know its place? You know, just this like, you know, just like this dreamy little thing. And then this comment about the wicked. Like, what is that? Like, where's that coming from? But that's the context. Okay? So the wicked are shaken out of the land. The wicked are shaken out of the land like a skirt, which is a garment. Okay? It is changed like clay under the seal. That's the idea of being changed, turned into something new or renewed, so to speak. And you can renew a sealed envelope with wax. 
You just got to heat the wax again and repress the seal. That's it. That's all the analogy means, Kyle Adams. That's all the analogy means. It has nothing to do with flat earth. Zero. All right, that's enough, I suppose. I think I'm just going to leave this as the entire, uh, entire clip. I'm just going to upload this clip. So uh, I didn't do an introduction because I wasn't going to be, <laughs> this is going to be a shorter um, note that I was making myself. But um, uh, yeah, this has been another exciting adventure of the plain truth. I'm your host, Travis Finley. Until next time.